Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Clap your hands now. Go ahead and clap your hands now. Hey guys, IT Buddy here, and today we're going to review the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw 5000 ANC Lumen Laser Projector. And for $2,000, actually even less with the coupon in the description, this is a great deal it, compared to all the Sony and other ones where you're spending thousands of dollars and you're only getting a couple ANC Lumens or not even 1080p, you're getting 720p. This offers a 3000 to 1 native contrast ratio at 5000 lumens. This thing is super bright, which I'll, you guys will see in the actual video test. But it offers a lot, it has Android 6.0, 2 gigs of RAM, and 16 gigs of on onboard storage. So you can do whatever you want, store some videos, or connect to Netflix, have some apps. Also does support Bluetooth 4.0 and has HDR, which is pretty good. That's why the colors look so awesome, but again, video test. It is a little big design, but sits right in front, looks sleek, looks modern. Has very loud speakers, and it has Dolby Atmos audio speakers. So it's very filling the audio. You don't even need to connect it to your AV receiver for a surround sound or anything. Has ALPD 3.0 technology, and it also does support 4K as well. But this thing has 20, 000, up to 20,000 hours of um, life, per se. And yeah, let's get into the unboxing. This thing's awesome. So we are greeted with a pretty huge box. It's pretty minimalistic on the outside, though it's huge. It would be impossible to do a design for it. But inside, we do have a better image. So it's just the packing. Open it up. And not a lot of stuff in there. But what is in there has a lot of quality. There's that power cord. Looks really nice. This whole thing was well thought out. It looks very premium, of course, for this price point. I hope it is, but I think it just should be said. It looks awesome. Here's the remote. What's cool about it is a Bluetooth remote, so you can don't need to point it directly at the projector. It works regardless. Up, down, left, right, center. Voice input, which is awesome. Well, that was satisfying. We have the projector. I didn't realize how heavy it was at first, but it is pretty heavy, but it'll be sitting on entertainment center. Surprisingly enough, it does also have mounting holes on it. If you were to mount it upside down, want to mount it on a tripod, but again, it's easier if you just sit it on an entertainment center. It also does have nice ventilation, if you guys can see that. It has Bluetooth 3.0, 2.0, uh, 3 HDMI, Ethernet, SPDIF, audio in, audio out. You have a lot of solutions to get audio, which is awesome. Like I connected to my AV receiver. That's all that's in the box, and go put that back. And let's hop right into the video test. You see how awesome it is. Okay, so we're gonna start the video test. So the projector's all the way in the front, right in front of the wall. It's about two inches away, I'd say. And we actually don't. Have, we're getting a new projector screen because this image is actually so big that it won't even fit on the entire screen. But first. Let's take our remote. All you do is click on. It turns on. Now just notice I have this projector in direct light and it still looks pretty bright. Here's our intro screen. You actually have a lot of options with this projector. Right now I have it loaded to go straight to HDMI 1. You can do HDMI 2, 3, or just the home screen in general. So right now I have the Wii U connected, but before I go into any videos, images, or gaming tests, I just like to go home first. There's a home button on the remote. So we now we see the home page. This projector is in Chinese, but I don't really use anything that requires me to know the language. Like we have apps here, just the usual. 
Another cool feature is that the HDMI 1 will actually give you a preview of whatever last use HDMI you have. Give you a preview of the screen. I think it's a little fancy, a little neat feature. So if you need to calibrate anything, just go to settings. You hold down the menu button right there. And this will give you all the options you'll basically need. The middle option is going to be your keystoning to electronics. So it's not going to be, it's going to be focused everywhere, not just in some places. So you can move each corner inwards, outwards, to left, right, up, down. Same thing with all the left, right, up, down points. So that's nice. You have a lot of um, options with this. The bottom settings, just so you guys know, is reset, save, go back, and that will just go back. Another option, let's hold down the menu again. The first one, these are your focus points. It does it automatically. But if you ever have a problem with the focus, you can change it yourself as well. Again, this offers a lot of versatility if you ever had the issues. And last, again, hold the home button. Let's go to settings. Now, I don't use any of these, but there's Wi-Fi. If you ever use any apps, there's like any apps you install because it does run at Android 6.0 with 16 gigs of eMMC storage. So Bluetooth, if you want to connect a Bluetooth speaker, you won't need these. Sound, that's pretty unique. So I'm going to show you guys both. Right now, this says um, headphones, basically. This is your audio right here. And I'm outputting to headphones. This one is the speaker itself, like the projector speaker. And this one's HDMI. And this one is like surround sound, so S-P-D-I-F. So I can go back to headphones right now so I can show you guys. It's connected to my sound bar and my um, AV receiver. It's pretty cool. I have them connected. I'll show you guys how in the description. A cool little soundbar. They're actually really cheap right now. Uh, they retail for $100, but I actually got a coupon, and I'm, I'm selling them actually for 60 So it's a pretty good deal. If you're looking for a good soundbar, I have a couple on Amazon. Link in the description. So like I said, in your settings, you can boot to HDMI 1, 2, 3. In these settings... I haven't touched any of these settings, but you can actually go inside your phone, open Google Translate, and do active translation. So if you open your camera and aim it at it, you actually will get a live trans translation of whatever the projector is saying. Now, this is camera is like 10 feet away, and you get a 120-inch image, just so you guys see. I'll stand next to it so you guys get a good idea. It looks pretty good. I'm going to turn off the lights so you guys get a better idea. This projector is rated at 5,000 ANSI lumens. So I know the Sony, Sony short throw projectors only have 1,000 lumens at the same price point. And it's, it is pretty nice. I have a coupon in the description as well. It's going to be limited time. Um, let me go back. So let's get into the sound video image test. So right now, just you can change the volume on the remote, pressing the up button. Now I want to show you guys the contrast between the, imp, the light and no light. You can still see, even with the light, the image clarity and quality of the colors doesn't change at all. So you're always going to have a nice, clear, bright image. All the blacks look deep, even without a projector screen, which really exemplifies how great the colors are in the reproduction of it. This laser projector is great. It's ALPD 3.0. So now I'm going to show you guys the audio of the projector and like its volume without my surround sound. So you go here, we go down. Like I said, this is a projector itself. Now it is pretty loud. But again, you can change volume using the up and down. This remote is connected via Bluetooth. As you can see at the back of it, it says Bluetooth. I think it's a little neat feature. And this remote, if you're ever at the home screen, actually supports direct voice input. And while we're talking about the remote, there's actually right here. Let's listen to the audio. So again, I'm going to lower it down. Show you guys each volume points. This is low volume. Higher, 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 and 
man. As you guys can hear, that's pretty loud, so I'm gonna lower it down to a little less than halfway. But just look at all the colors. I usually use this game for as a benchmark, because there's so many colors and different levels of blacks and all these different things. Lots of contrast you need in this trailer. But yeah. And let's say I want to switch input. I click home. HDMI 2. Changes. Hear my computer in the background changing. And there it is. So this projector actually is good enough if you wanted to use it for presentations or anything like that. You can see the text very clearly. I just have this screen up because it's zoomed in and everything. You can easily read all these comments if you wanted to. And what's convenient about having an ultra short throw projector is you can actually stand up, do whatever you want. And obviously there's going to be a shadows because the projector is against the wall instead of far away back. So I can play games like Just Dance or hang out with the family. Anyone can walk through. It's not going to affect the projection at all. Here we go. Again, audio works the same way. You can either route it through the projector. But the image looks very nice. I'm just going to go back to home. When you're setting up the projector, it is uh, all you do in Chinese is your focus and your keystoning. And that's going to your phone number. You can actually skip that by just clicking home instead. And then you never need to touch the Chinese portion again. So like I said before, you can keep it down to a minimum. I have it loaded right to my Wii U. Anytime I want to switch, I just go home, switch to HDMI. You really don't need to know the language to really use the projector at all. You, use your, you have your keystone and your audio, all the essential projection things such as um, mirror mode or flipped upside down. But yeah, so let's get into the closing. That's it for the video test. So turn it off, just press the power button twice. Okay, that's it. So if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, or respond to all my comments. Be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications. We are almost at 2,000 subscribers, so I'm super excited about that. And be sure to get this projector if you've been looking at ultra short throws. This is definitely a great steal. Coupon in the description, as always, you guys know the deal. And that's it for the video, guys. IT buddy, out. Thank you.